hello guys welcome back to our channel so today we are here with one interesting super badge so all this prerequisite for this schedule flow and subflow super badge has been already completed and video has been posted in our channel so do check that and i'm going to take up this first challenge now and this challenge also needs special developer edition organization to be connected with as i have already completed that step i'm directly going to take up this challenge now so let's go to our home page and search for flows and click on flows so once if you got this flow page we are going to open up this appointment follow up flow so once it got open we are going to click on save as we are going to rename this flow so click on new flow here and for flow label we are going to copy it from our challenge itself so copy it this and paste it over here and here click on show advanced and select type as schedule triggered flow and click on save so you can ignore this error as of now let's go to our free form layout and here we are going to set schedule and i'm going to select start date as any date and start time as 12 am and frequency as daily once it is done click on done now let's choose our object click on object and here we are going to give provider appointment as object name so scroll down and click on provider appointment and for condition i'm going to keep it as and for field let's give it as stage for operator does not equals and value i'm going to give it as cancel and click on add condition and for this field also we are going to give stage operator should be does not equal and value as completed so once it is done click on done and let's save this as well click on save so yeah once it is saved let's go back to our challenge and let's check our challenge now so yeah guys we have successfully completed our first challenge so let's take up our second challenge now so for this challenge let's scroll up and copy this label and let's go back to our flows and here we are going to choose weekly program participant check so click on that flow So once it got open we are going to click on save as and click on a new flow and here I am going to paste this value and let's click on show advanced and here for type we are going to choose it as auto launch to flow with no trigger option once it is done click on save. After saving this flow let's ignore this error as of now I am going to click on this toggle toolbox. So here we are going to choose current participant and click on available for input checkbox click on done and now we are going to delete this set current participant element so click on that and click on delete element we have successfully deleted one element from our flow and now we are going to edit this get related program record click on that click on edit element so here we are going to change this value so for this we are going to type current participant followed by program and followed by your id so here search for id so it is right over here click on it once it is done click on done let's save this click on save now let's go to our weekly program participant check click on that flow and here we are going to delete this loop element so click on this uh, sorry decision element so click on this decision element and click on delete so we are going to delete all the parts click on delete element so guys here i am going to add one subflow so click on subflow and here 
we are going to choose the first one which is nothing but a program count and participant status subflow let's give the label over here and api name is auto populated i'm going to include this current participant and for current participant we are going to provide this value and click on done so guys here we are going to delete these three elements so click on get related click on delete element so click on update delete update program values delete element and followed by our get records and in the same flow which is weekly program participant check we are going to delete this assignment so click on delete element and now click on this program count let's edit this element so here in current participant we are going to involve record so click on record now click on done so it's time to save and activate this both the flow so click on save let's activate this click on save for another flow also and click on activate let's check this challenge now click on check challenge so yeah guys we have successfully completed our second challenge as well so let's take up our third challenge now so guys for this third challenge we are going to create a new flow click on new flow if you are in previous challenge so here I'm going to choose record triggered flow click on create for object we are going to choose program participant so it is right over here and for configure trigger we are going to choose a record is updated scroll down and for condition requirement let's give all condition or met with and so for field we are going to choose end date which is changed followed by value as true and scroll down once it is done click on done so here we are going to add one more element uh, which is a sub flow so for reference the flow we are going to choose this first option and label copy the same label and api name is auto populated and let's include this current participant and let's choose record for this so once it is done click on done now it's the time to save this flow as program participant updated which is right over here given in our challenge itself so let's save this flow and click on activate now let's go back to our challenge and let's check our third challenge now so yeah guys we have successfully completed this challenge see you all on next video until then bye bye